Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title of this video and the thumbnail, this is a look with the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. I didn't want to do any swatches because there are literally like 5 million videos of swatches and all that stuff already. So it literally took me forever to figure out what colors I wanted to do and then I just kind of started working into it and this is what I came up with. It's a halo eye and I used pretty much the reds and the oranges in the palette. I I started off thinking I was going to use these and then I don't know what happened. I don't know where where it went. But I really like the way that they look the look turned out. I love the eyeshadows. I love the way that they blended. The pigmentation is out of this freaking world as you can see as you guys have already seen in swatches and videos and looks and all that stuff. But they're beautiful. I love them. I think she did such a good job. I feel like the pigmentation is bomb and I literally had no fallout. I did my foundation and my concealer before I did my eyes and I had no fallout like there's no darkness no nothing underneath my eyes so I'm really happy with that so if you guys would like to see how to get this red halo golden whatever you want to call this look then just keep watching all right guys so I look a little bit crazy right now because I have my foundation my concealer my powder my brows and my eyes primed that's all I have on right now and then I'm going to finish everything as I go so I really don't know how I'm gonna even go and start with this palette because I want to do so many looks so I have you all have already seen from my intro what look I'm doing but I really really do not know I might want to do something with greens I might want to do something with the oranges I might want to do something with the blues I don't freaking know but I'm gonna go ahead and start first with this color right here the color silk creme so I'm gonna go into this color first just to start in my transition area so far just from dipping my brush this is the first time i put my brush in it it feels super soft i mean super super soft the color doesn't show up on me very much so i'm gonna go into the next color um it's still a little bit too light so i'm gonna go in it's going into the color i guess it's called pukey there we go this shows up on me and I'm using a Sephora Pro Crease 10. And I'm still going to dip into Silk Creme and MFEO just to blend because I do have them on this side. I'm going to go into the color Butter just to start deepening up my crease. I think I'm going to do a halo eye. Okay, I'm going to pick up the color Hun. I'm going to start building the color on the outer part of my eye and I'm going to also put it on the inner part of my eye. And this brush is the Morphe M519. It's very stiff and I just like it to really pack color on. I'm not getting any fallout at all. Which is amazing because these eyeshadows are so soft and so pigmented but I'm not getting fallout. I'm just going to go in and blend the edges. So right now, I look crazy, but I just have the colors really, really packed. I'm going to go in with an even smaller brush. I'm going to go in with the Morphe M536, and I'm just going to pack the color even more and bring it a little bit further in. I really like this color a lot. It's such like a fiery... I don't think I have a color like this at all, and I have a lot of eyeshadow. It is insane that I'm not getting even one drop of fallout, like nothing. All right, so now I'm gonna start deepening that up and I'm gonna pick the color Jax, which is like a red, like a fire deep brick red. And I'm gonna keep that mainly on the outer corners and the very, very inner corner. Like this color is so pretty and so hot. And I want the edges to be really round because I want it to be a complete circle once I blend it out. And I just want to take it like right here just to bring the colors a little bit higher up. Just because when I open my eyes, I want you to still be able to see all the color. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of my NYX Glitter Primer just because I want the color in the center not to crease. Um, not because of the eyeshadows, just because of the way that my eyes are. I have hooded lids, so a lot of my 
shimmer or glittery shades transfer very easily it doesn't matter what brand i use so every time i use shimmers i have to use some sort of base that's really sticky just to keep it in place so i'm just tapping it with my finger and now it's even harder because i don't know what color i want to pick up i'm going to pick up the color queen which is a very 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 intense gold color which you will see in a second and i'm just going to pack it holy crap on my lid right in the center of the other colors you can see i'm bringing it pretty high in my crease just so that when my eyes are open you can still see the color i'm just going to go back in with my little brush and the color jacks and i'm just going to use it to blend out the edges and I'm gonna go back in and just press a little bit more I want to use the color Central Park which is a really dark brown and I just want to use that in the very very inner corner and the very outer corner just to deepen it up a little bit more and now I'm gonna take that brush that I use for deepening my crease and I'm just going to blend I'm going to line my eyelids, but I'm not going to do a wing. I don't like doing a wing when it comes to halo eyes, so I'm literally just going to line my eyes. Alright, so I just put some liner in my lower lash line. I'm just going to put some mascara, and I'm using my Benefit Roller Lash. This might be my favorite mascara of all time. Might be. I'm going to kind of speed through this, but I'm going to do the rest of my complexion. Now for my lip, I'm going in with the I Love Sarai and ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the color Curvy. And I'm going to go right over it with the I Love Sarai and ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip, also in the color Curvy. Alright guys, and that is pretty much it for this look. I love the colors. It looks so freaking pretty and vibrant. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see any other colors or looks using this palette, please let me know because I literally want to use them all. Like, I want to use all of them. Please subscribe if you guys haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.